Well, hey, Jack, it's on Krista Muhammad here at the Turning Point Worship Center here in Bartow, located at 1400 East Georgia Street, not far from BHS. There's church mainly on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. and Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. and evening service is at 6 p.m. On Fridays at 6 p.m., located in the Fellowship Hall, there is a Souls for Jesus outreach ministry service. Anyone in need are welcome to come. Their service includes praise and worship, a sermon, dinner provided afterward, and groceries to take home. Now for the teens, there is a youth program here. Not too long ago, they were split up to different classes based on age group schools, starting from middle school to high school and college. Trying new opportunities is always a great way to find a better goal and also a hobby of the youth program. From baking to party fest, chili cookings to concerts to camp and more, these all vary from what they do to be involved in. Well, hey, Jack, I'm here with Miss Angie, the youth pastor of Turning Point Worship Center. Miss Angie, everything, um, everybody's talking about camp and everything. What is that all about? Oh, camp is a phenomenal time that we take off one week out of the summer, and we go, and it's kind of like an intensive where you just, you follow the Bible throughout the day. I mean, you, you start with morning devotions, you go into group activities, um, you have free time, where you, you get to go by yourself and kind of like sit down and have devotion time individually and you know kind of chew on what you learned earlier. Um, later on that afternoon we have another group activity where we all get together we might see a skit, we might do some praise and worship and then it's kind of like you have a team revival that night. So, But it's, it's day after day for seven days and it's awesome. So they have fun at, what do you see on the future of the um, we, we still plan on going to camp this summer, so we have fundraisers and those kind of things. Um, we still do um, drama, we have flags, so all those kind of things to go towards a way of expressing what the Bible says. Sometimes it's easier to understand the Bible if you can see it instead of you know, only read it. And um, hopefully you know, all those things will set in into their hearts so that they really get a thirst for reading the Bible and learning more about Jesus Christ so that when they're grown, you know, that, that love for Christ will be you know, deeply implanted in them. Thank you so much, Miss Andrew. You're welcome. Well, hey, Jackets, I'm here with the pastor of Turning Point, Pastor Tommy. Um, pastor, um, what do you find unique about being a pastor here? Well, I've been here for 29 years, and uh, the unique thing about it is, is that we've had the opportunity to meet a lot of people. A lot of people have come and gone. A lot of them has gone to be with the Lord. But the most unique thing is just getting to know all the people to know their lives, to know what they're about, and just being able to enjoy them. And we've done that for 29 years, and it's been great. And um, what is it about having a title in front of your name? Do you have to have one? You preached about it this morning. Uh, no, a, a title's not important when you're serving the Lord. I know that we address pastors or pastors, or we will address somebody as a deacon, or Sunday school teacher, or as an associate pastor. But the most important thing is to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Not just a name tagged to our name, but a real relationship with the Lord. That's the most important thing. Thank you, Pastor Tommy. You're very welcome. Well, Jack, is that's all I have for you today. Signing off from the Turning Point Worship Center, I'm Krista Mohammed. Good morning, Jackets. I'm Krista Muhammad. Welcome to the YJP News Network. Today is Wednesday, February 10, 2010. YJP starts right now. Someone please radio for help. Today's lunch is fish sandwich, Italian sub, green beans, mixed fruit salad, and pudding. Tomorrow's lunch will be beef nachos, pierogi, pasta dippers, nacho cheese cup, black beans, fiesta or plain rice, and seasonal fresh fruit. Hey sophomores, FCAT writing is finally over. How do you think you did? Now that's out of the way, FCAT math and reading starts next month. So ready to solve a question? Here's the FCAT problem of the day. FCAT tutoring is available through March 6th. After school reading tutoring is available on Mondays and Wednesdays. And math tutoring is available on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.35 to 3.35 p.m. Additional sessions are offered on Saturday mornings from 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Remember that the NHS offers tutoring in the media center every Monday and Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. The Night of Stars prom will be held at Lake Mare on April 10th. It will be from 8 p.m. to midnight. Tickets are now $70.
Juniors and seniors want to know how you can earn a free prom ticket? For more info, please see Ms. Davis in the discipline office. Seniors are reminded that you need to place your order for a cap and gown on the official website, www.herfjonestampabay.com. Now for your sports news. Our Jackets varsity baseball team will begin their preseason tomorrow and Friday, both at 7.30 p.m. Battling off the new season next Friday, it will be a home game against McKeel Academy, also at 7.30 p.m. Tomorrow, the varsity softball team will be playing an away game against Kathleen at 7.30 p.m. This Friday and Saturday, the varsity basketball team will be having their district semifinal and final away at Kathleen. Good luck to all our fellow teams and play a good game. Now here for some inspirational words, here's the quote of the day. Valentine's Day is this Sunday. Bartow's own concert choir on Friday will be singing their Valentine's Friday at school, home, work, or anywhere else that you chose. Students, if you fail the first semester class, there will be no summer school in this year. There will be an after-school program instead. The program to make up credits will run after school on Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 2 to 5 p.m. If interested in taking advantage of this opportunity, please see your guidance counselor for a registration form. Senior shirts are on sale for $12 in room 207. Remember that the media center is open from 6.15 a.m. to 4 p.m. Students do not need a pass before or after school. However, a special pass is required during class time. Well, that's all for YJP. Thanks for watching. Signing off, my name is Krista Mohammed. But before we go, here's something to think about. Here's the fact of the day. Have a great day. Well, good morning, Jackets. I'm Krista Mohammed here in the Bartow High School gym. Welcome to the YGP News Network. Today is Wednesday, March 3rd, 2010. Today is all about the boys' basketball team game tonight in the Lakeland Center. YJP starts right now. Well, thanks, girls. Tonight is the big Class 5A state semifinals at 7 p.m. with our very own varsity boys' basketball team at the Lakeland Center. They play against the Palm Beach Gardens Dreyer Panthers, who have won 25 games to three. This will be the fourth final in four years. Now into your other sports. Today the boys and girls tennis team plays against Haines City at 3.30 p.m. The boys play an away game and the girls play at home. The varsity baseball team has a home game against Spoto at 7.30 p.m. and on Friday they play an away game against Ridge at 7 p.m. The varsity softball team plays an away game against Ridge at 7.30 p.m. and on Saturday they play a home game against Kathleen at 7 p.m. On Friday, the track team will go against All Saints, Ford Mead, Lake Wales, and Santa Fe at home. Lacrosse has a game on Saturday, 3-6 at home versus Plant High at 12 at noon. Good luck to all our fellow teammates and play a good game. Jackets, that's all we have for you from YJP. Thanks for watching. Signing off, my name is Krista Mohammed. Please stay tuned for Channel 1 News. Come out and support our boys' basketball team tonight in the Lakeland Center. So have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow. Carver Black Metallic Club. Carver Black Metallic Club.
Looking up at the 205 foot Neo Gothic and Art Deco singing tower, Curlin is an experience like no other. Designed by famed architect Milton B. Medary and ornately crafted by noted stone sculptor Lee Laurie, the tower houses one of the world's finest Curlins. So are you wondering what's behind this great brass door? Well, there are seven floors. The first room was created for Edward Bach as a private study for him. Floors two and three contain mechanical equipment. Floor four is a creator's workshop. Floor five is the largest color and library in the whole world named the Anton Breeze. Floor six is the Coronaires studio and the Curlin files the upper third of the tower on floor seven. There are 211 stairs going from the founder's room to the bell chamber and elevated to floor six. Bach, Medary, and Lori made a goal to create perfect unity and symbolism in the design of the tower. The door depicts the book of Genesis starting with his creation of light and ending with Adam and Eve being ousted from the Garden of Eden. Edward Bach's singing tower was sighted the highest elevation south of the reflection pool so the water reflects its full image. The Conservation Pine Ridge Nature Reserve is a 100 acre long leaf pine turkey oak ecosystem which provides opportunities for researchers and visitors to learn more about the Sand Hill ecosystem. The preserve is home to six plant species including Waria and Plexifolia and to endangered species such as the largest venomous snake in the U.S which is the eastern indigo snake, the landlord of the longleaf pine and sand hill community, the gopher tortoise, the secretive winter breeding gopher frog, and the ground dwelling Florida mouse. Remember that Bok Tar is open 365 days of the year from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. It was voted Florida's best garden by Florida Monthly Magazine. Well, jackets, the scenery here is just breathtaking and relaxing. Take a day with your family and come out and enjoy this famous landmark. You will enjoy it as much as I did. Signing off from Bakhtari Gardens, I'm Krista Mohammed. Hey, thanks, Larry. Well, hey, Jackets, it's Crystal. While Larry's up there partying at Mardi Gras, we can have our very own party right here in the studio. Mardi Gras is all about food, too. Instead of going out to New Orleans for a tasty cuisine, you could visit our own local Creole restaurant, Harry's Seafood Bar and Grill, right in downtown Lakeland. Harry's might be a place that most students at Bartow High do not know about. They began as part of the seafood market then gradually transformed into a small restaurant while seating for about 20 customers at its counter. Now with seven locations all throughout the state of Florida, Harry's features an exciting creative array of dishes done with flair for the fun and ambience of New Orleans. You can enjoy a variety of dishes straight from the heart of Louisiana and even some of the classic favorites including Harry's Louisiana, gumbo jambalaya, and shrimp or oyster po' boy, among numerous others. Am I making you hungry yet? Speaking of food, today's lunch is pizza, chicken tenders with roll, corn, celery with peanut butter, and fruit freezing. Now let's go into what's happening around school. The Natter Stars prom will be held at Lake Mirror on April 10th. It will be from 8 p.m. to midnight. Now, here's new info that the tickets will be $60 now until February 19th. Then they will go back to $70. So get yours soon. If you want to earn a free prom ticket, see Ms. Davis in the Discipline Office for more info. Now let's check out a unique word. Here is the word of the day. Seniors are reminded to place your order for cap and gown on the official website www.herfjonestampabay.com. Well, as everyone knows, Valentine's Day is a Sunday. So Bartow's own concert choir will be delivering you singing Valentine's today. So make sure you make your sweethearts feel special. Let's check out what's going around campus. Here is the photo of the day. FCAT tutoring is available through March 6th. Reading tutoring is available on Mondays and Wednesdays, and math tutoring is available on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.35 to 3.35 p.m. Additional sessions are offered on Saturday mornings from 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Speaking of FCAT, are you ready to solve another question? Here's the FCAT problem of the day. The first lacrosse game took place Wednesday night at 7 p.m. in the BHS Stadium.
Here is the clip of the game. Tonight, the boys' varsity basketball team will be having their district semifinal away at Kathleen, and tomorrow night, they will have their district final there again at 7 p.m. The varsity baseball team will be having their second preseason game tonight at 7.30 p.m. Batting off the new season and next Friday, it will be a home game against McKeel Academy at 7.30 p.m. Teachers, do you have any announcements that need to be aired? If so, please email us at yjpnews at gmail.com. We would like to hear from you. Well, Jackets, that's all the news I have for you today, and I'm getting a big craving for seafood. So hopefully you come on and hang out at Harry's too. Well, signing off, I'm Crystal. Back to Larry at Mardi Gras. Hey Jackets, I'm Krista Muhammad. Looking for a tasty barbecue meal? I recommend you, you come out and try the new Johnson's Barbecue Restaurant right next to Fred's Salmon Kitchen here in Bartow. Johnson's Family Restaurants has lasted through five generations. It all started 90 years ago in the little town of Alp, Alabama, where Elton Johnson was born on April 28th. Elton was always looking for ways to branch out and expand his business by selling pre-made sandwiches out of a side room of the gas station for dime a piece. He then thought of the idea to add a small kitchen and eventually a dining room to make it a full-service restaurant when the sandwiches became so popular. With family help, the first Johnson's restaurant was established. Blue Jackets, these dishes sound too yummy to pass up. All this talking food has got me very hungry and nothing sounds better right now than barbecue ribs. Signing off from the Johnson's Barbecue Restaurant, smoking since 1954, I'm Krista Mohammed. smoke you later. Hey Jack, if there is a week of school left, I'm Krista Muhammad. Today is Wednesday, December 9th, 2009. YJP starts right now. Well, let's see what's for lunch. Now let's turn over to Club and Sports News. Thanks for that report, girls. Remember, all student ID badges were given out. If you did not receive your ID badge, do drop by the media center to pick it up. Remember, all replacement badges cost $5. Be sure to keep track of your badge by using it each day to buy your lunch or to check out a library book in the media center. Be sure to keep an eye out on the loop with the names of those who have not gone to get their ID badge yet. FCAT will be coming up in a couple of months. In the meanwhile, we want to help you with different problems. So here is the FCAT question of the day. You really need to place your cap and gown orders now. Go online to order at www.herfjonestampabay.com. You will need to register on the site and you'll be allowed to place your orders. Remember that the media center is open to students from 6.15 a.m. to 4 p.m. Students do not need a pass before or after school. However, a special pass is required during class time. Hope Hospice is accepting students 13 years of age and older. One way to help is gift wrapping at Lakeside Village. Hope is there through December 24th. There are three shifts, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., and 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Students can volunteer individually or clubs and organizations can volunteer to staff a day or two. For more info, please call 863-370-7017 or email amy.souza at hopehospice.org. Remember, if you need any help in any subject area, NHS offers tutoring in the media center at 2.30 every Monday and Wednesday. Volunteers will need to sign up for a fill a bucket project. If you are interested, do sign up with Nathan Finn. They are also looking for volunteers to deliver boxes to the elderly through Vista on Tuesday after school. So please see Ms. Harp if interested. Scholastic Book Fair is still going on until Friday in the Media Center. The National Honor Society members have volunteered to gift wrap any item that is purchased as a Christmas present. There are so many great fun books and posters to choose from, so be sure to visit the book fair during or after school hours next week or with your class. The cafeteria staff is holding a canned food drive until next Thursday. Please drop off any canned goods that you may have to the cafeteria. 
joined a leadership class in celebrating friendships this holiday season with Friendship Flower Days. Monday and Tuesday, leadership representatives will be selling holiday carnations in the cafeteria during all launches. It is just $2 and you'll be able to send a message to that certain someone, as well as your friends through. Deliveries will occur during the last week of December. So look out for those Santa Friendship Helpers to place your orders. Teachers, do you have any work orders that need to be completed? If so, please email us at yjpnews at gmail.com. We want to hear from you. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Signing off from YJP News, I'm Krista Mohammed. Please stay tuned for Channel 1 News. Have a great day. We will see you tomorrow. Good morning, Jackets. Welcome to the YJP News Network. I'm Krista Mohammed. Today is Thursday, January 28, 2010. YJP starts right now. For lunch, there'll be chicken nuggets with roll, baked potato bar, sweet potato fries, steamed broccoli, and seasonal fresh fruit. Tomorrow for lunch, there will be pizza, beef nachos with cheese, corn, and chilled fruit. Now, back to Courtney and Victoria to for sports news. If you did not receive your ID badge, do drop by the media center to pick it up. They cost $5, so be sure to keep track of your badge by using it each day to buy your lunch or to check it out for a library book in the media center. And keep an eye on the loop to see if your name is there if you have not gotten your ID yet. FCAT tutoring is now available through March 6th. After school reading tutoring is available on Mondays and Wednesdays and math tutoring is available on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.35 to 3.35 p.m. Additional sessions are offered on Saturday mornings from 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Remember that the NHS offers tutoring in the Media Center every Monday and Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. Prom will be held at Lake Mirror on April 10th. It will be from 8 p.m. to midnight. Tickets cost $60 until February 7th. After that, it will be $70. Juniors and seniors, you can earn a free prom ticket. So for more info, do see Ms. Davis in the discipline office. Today is quarter day. So if you have a quarter, please donate to the Haiti Relief in the lunchroom. And tomorrow is dollar day. So be sure to do the same. Seniors are reminded that you need to place your order for cap and gown on the official website, www.herfjonestampabay.com. We'll be right back after this. Teachers, once again, if you have any work orders that need to be completed, please email us at yjpnews at gmail.com. We want to hear from you. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Signing off from YJP, I'm Krista Mohammed. Please stay tuned for Channel 1 News. Have a great day. We will see you tomorrow. Well, hey, Jack, it's I'm Krista Mohammed here at the MOSI, the Museum of Science and Industry. Along with some of the unique exhibits, we have the Da Vinci. We can actually go around and look through the life of Da Vinci, but also along with Mona Lisa. Leonardo was known to draw many things. Here is the ideal city of 1484. Da Vinci was amazing. He had his hand in everything, really. Um, he was an inventor, he was a painter, a sculptor, and you get a little bit of an idea here in the exhibit of just some of the things that he was able to do. So um, when you come here, you can get a little skim the surface of Da Vinci's mind. This is known as the aerial screw. Four men was used to push it, and today it's known as the ancestral of the helicopter. Well, Jackets, that's all I have for you from Da Vinci. Hopefully you come out and look at exhibits yourself. You'll have mighty fun as I did. Now, back to Kenley and Kendall.